Hello and welcome to ChalkPastel.com. We are very excited today to share with you a patriotic art tutorial. And we're going to let everyone get gathered around and give, give everyone some time to get their supplies. And while they do that, Nana, I'm going to introduce you to Nana and she is going to share with you what we will need. And I'm going to turn the camera over to her right now. Here is Nana. Hello and welcome to our tutorial on the American flag. We are approaching a holiday, an American holiday on Monday, <clears throat> excuse me, which is Memorial Day, honoring all the soldiers, men and women, who have fought in the wars. Uh, we are going to do two tutorials. We're going to go nice and slow. There are a few things we need to go over before we start about your supplies. Now, I'm here with my students, and we have regular copy paper. It comes right out of the computer. And we have it turned vertically, like this. Underneath it, I have a piece of old construction paper to hold it down so it doesn't slide all over the table. It just kind of holds it into place. <clears throat> now we have some great flag colors. We have the red, the white, and the blue, and a rusty brown for the flagpole. And then on this particular tutorial, this is going to be shot uh, from the, the picture shot from a mountain top. So here's a blue for the sky and some purple for the mountains. This picture was made uh, by my daughter uh, a while back and uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful picture of the American flag. Okay, now that we have our things together, we're going to start and I'm going to slow it down so it'll be easier for everyone to keep up. All right, we're going to start with a flag. I'm going to take my red and we're going to draw the outside of the flag. Just one straight line. And this flag, do the best that you can. It's going to be sort of blowing in the wind. So, it has a fold in it. Now, that looks more like a dog bone than, than a flag, I know. But, bear with me. We're going to make it really look like a flag. Up here at the top is the field of stars. And we're going to color that in. Try to see if you can be careful with it. Now you see I didn't go all the way to the edge. So I can take my finger and fill it in and not get too much of the red in there. We also have a wet paper towel that we can wipe our fingers off and get the color off with. Alright, let's just go ahead and put the stars in. Now we're not going to be able to put... 50 something stars in here. So let's just do the best we can. You may have to bear down with your white pastel. Okay. Now, we're going to start here, right under the field of the stars. And let's just follow the curve. We probably won't be able to show all seven stripes of red. So this will be an impression of the American flag. Okay. Let's 
see, kind of goes up over that hump. We will get seven in them. And because it's on white paper, we don't have to fill in with the white. Okay. I'll wait for just a second till you catch up. And then we're going to hang this flag on a tall pole. This is a rusty red color. And we're going to attach the flag at the top. I put a round circle that's the top of the flagpole. There we go. Got some pretty good pictures going here. All right, now we're going to put the mountains in the background. What I'm taking is my purple pastel and I'm going to turn it on its side and I'm going to make just some rolling mountains. You don't have to have the Alps or anything in the background. Just some rolling hills and mountains. You try to not go across the flagpole, but if you do, it's okay. All right. Still with the pastel on its side, we're going to fill in the color. And down here, closer, we're just going to make it very light color. Okay? Now, take your painter fingers and let's smooth this in. If you get a little bit of the brown from the flagpole on there, that is okay. It just makes it look like, well, the mountains have some rocks in the background, okay? Now this is all great, but we don't have a sky yet. So this day, this picture was made on a partly cloudy day. So we're going to make clouds with our pale blue. And you can do, you're the artist, you can do whatever you prefer. I'm just going to make some cloud impressions. and kind of skip around the flag itself. And the sky goes all the way down to the mountain tops. Okay. Now if you like, you can fill this in with your fingers and make it smoother looking if that's what you prefer. If you're finished and you're pleased with your picture, which I know you have all painted some wonderful ones, sign your name here in the corner. And then flip it over and name it. Like Memorial Day Flag, or just Flag, and today's date. And then, if it were me, what I would do with this, and I'm going to do, is I'm going to put it on my refrigerator door so I will remember on Monday that it is Memorial Day. Okay, now let's put this one away. This is a daytime picture. Now we are going to do a nighttime picture. You can switch out to a black construction paper or a dark blue or a dark purple, anything that looks like a nighttime sky. And we're basically going to do just about the same thing we did before. Let's pick up our red and let's get our flag on there. Okay, now this flag you can have as 
curvy as you prefer. Okay. Now this is not going to show up very well at night, but here's the field of blue. And we're going to put some stars in. Remember, you can't put all 52 stars in there. But you can get a lot in. All right. And let's start with the stripes, okay? I'm trying to get my hand out of the way so you can see. It's the same thing we did before. Because the flag is flapping in the wind, you have a curve here. Okay, now this is a nighttime flag. We don't have white in the background. So get yourself a skinny little white like this and let's put in six white stripes. You'll have to use a pointy end of your white. Now, I didn't get all my stripes in, so technically, again, we have an impression of an American flag. Let's put in our red stripes. Fill those in. I think these are turning out quite bright and pretty for a nighttime sky. If you like, you can take your finger and make the colors smooth, or you can just leave them the way they are. Just don't, try not to mix your white and your, your red together, because then you'll have a pink stripe. All right, now let's put the, the good old flagpole in there. Remember it had a circle at the top to help hold the flag cords ropes on and a very straight pole now I had this go all the way to the end of the paper because this is going to be on top of a building okay and now we're finished with our flag the party can begin. All right, take your white, let's start with it, and let's have some fireworks exploding right here, right beside. You can draw your, your fireworks just the way you want. I'm going to just make mine a little bit like it's exploding in the middle. So it's kind of fuzzy. Ooh, that's good. Now, I'm going to take, let's see, how about a light blue? And we're going to have one of those that goes around and around and around and around. How about that? And even have some 
explosions coming that way. All right. And then we're going to, I'm going to copy yours. It looks almost like a spider. What a great idea. He knows more about fireworks than I do. And you know what? You could even put some blue on it to make it really look patriotic. As you can see, you can have as many as you like. And you can spend half an afternoon making lots and lots and lots of ex big explosions and tiny explosions and things that will just wow your friends. I have a purple one over here. I'm going to have to put some blue or something with it to help highlight it. And you know, they always have little bitty ones going off all over. That's not lightning, that's, that's the fireworks going off over here. I think we've done it. Great job, and this is quite a celebration. Now, remember the rules. Sign your name here in the corner. Flip it over. You can call this night flag or flag at night and today's date. And then put it next to your daytime flag. Um, so you can look at it on Monday and remember that it's Memorial Day and we celebrate the lives that have been given and the service that has been given to our country. Thank you for joining us. We've had a wonderful time. This is quite a celebration. We hope that you come and uh, be with us again. Be sure you send us your pictures so we can see them. We love to get your completed pictures. Yes, we want to remind you to please tag those pictures with the hashtag you are an artist or upload them here to our chalkpastel.com Facebook page. And up there in the description, you'll find a link to our American Landmarks, which we have a free video tutorial that you can try of the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. And our American Landmarks is also on sale this week in honor of Memorial Day. Thank you so much for joining us and remember, you are an artist.